The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour. My pleasure to be here Monday through Friday, noon to 1 p.m. 877-927-6648 is the number to call. I have a lot of things to go for. I had a lot of very important questions that came in because I'm doing a webinar Tuesday, this coming Tuesday night, 5 o'clock to 6.30 for subscribers. You can become a subscriber. You'll get the webinar for free. It's only for subscribers. And you'll, get the, uh, you'll be able to look at a number of uh, webinars that I've done. Uh, plus, review this webinar as many times as you want. It'll be on the technical analysis, what we're looking for, why we're doing what we're doing, what we're doing, and uh, some very simple technical tools that can be used to uh, your, hopefully, to your benefit. Now, the Dow, as I say, is down 67. It's stuck in this rectangle formation. Gosh, should I do that? Now, let's do it because I've got my webinar coming. I'll be, I'll be discussing this type of thing in the webinar. Now, let's see if I've clicked the right one. There it is. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, so um, I did quite a lot of work on this last night. I will, I'm always doing work on this. I tried to use some technical tools that are the absolute simplest that you can, I mean, there's nothing more simple than using two technical tools like uh, a nine period exponential moving average and a black, this black line here, that's the, I'm making it nice and thick, is the 14 period moving average. You can use anything you want because just be consistent. Whatever you use, use the same thing over and over again. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work. We tried it once, it got stopped out, but we're now back again. As I was doing this, I showed you the rectangle formations from the high of the 22nd, the day before the high of the 22nd of April. I had a sell signal uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology. Uh, we anticipated through the 120 minute chart, and it was a day early, but it was great because it, look what happened. That rebound didn't take out the, the high that was made in April the 23rd. Then it plunged sharply, it went down to this doji candle low. Um, and that was the low of the June the 3rd. We managed to be, uh, gave a buy signal that day, and it worked out quite nicely. Now, what's important is that we then got seven points from the top. We got the um, sell signal on right here, this little doji candle on July the uh, 17th. Was that the 16th? Yes, it was. It was the 16th. And uh, because of the candle the day before, so we had it in at a certain point. I said that we're going to short the Dow. If it goes over 27,000, what did I say? Oh, 27,390. It went to 27,398. And then we just sat. I mean, as I said, it looks kind of stupid because the market pulled back. It hit the nine period moving average. It bounced. It tried to rally. It failed to go above the high, uh, that high of the uh, 16th. And then it went, it went for 13 days before it smacked down and that green line turned to pink as it crossed the 14 period moving average and then it came all the way down. Now what's also important you see um, right here, this was 10 sessions from the April high. This was 13 sessions before it crossed negative uh, July the 16th. And this one here, we just missed it, but we got a little later on and we got the short about 100 and so points from the top. The high that was made right here at PD, I think it was right there on the 12th of September. And uh, look what happened, came tumbling down. Now, what's really important about this is the more work I did, the more I realized, wow, I talk about rectangle formations. But wait a minute, what happened today? Um, didn't we just see in the, look at this, this is the 10 minute E mini. It has a pop-up at, at two at two o'clock yesterday. It, it, there was that Disney pop, and then it pulled back, and it goes to the 200 period moving average, and then it forms a rectangle formation. What's my expression? My expression is, and we'll talk about this in my webinar. A rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Well, lo and behold, look what happened. It goes. And what I always look for, the fourth highest peak, peak A is the first peak B, higher peak is peak B, the second one. Third highest is peak C, fourth highest one is D, you can even go E, F, and G, but D, the fourth one, is where other things can happen. Whoa, did other things happen? Look, it hit 
the high today of 3,099.75. That was peak D in the 10 minute chart. It comes tumbling down rare to the 200 period moving average. And then it goes sideways. And look how long the sideways action continues. And my expression is sideways um, a rectangle formation can last a long, longer than your patience, even if there's a pop to the upside. If this is a high level consolidation, you will break to the downside. And then you'll see whether or not there's an attempt to get back into the rectangle or whether you start to make an H formation and start to make lower lows. Well, that's exactly where we are. We just went to trough D in the 10 minute chart. We went down from the 399 level to 381. And now you're at 386, trying to get back in. So because I said that, I want to take you straight to the picture that we're looking at. And what does it say? It says right there. It says that these rectangle, form, rectangle formations at a top tend to tell you that unless there's a breakout in a certain number of days, um, it could go sideways and then possibly break. doesn't say it's going to. It says possibly break to the downside. So I said, well, let me go back even further. And there's another PD right here. Back on the 25th of February, the Dow is 26,241. It goes sideways, makes that U-shaped formation, tries to get back, fails to make a new high, and then kaplop, it pulls back. So I said, all right, where are we right now? So in all those instances, we had a bad news cloud cover. Right now, these impeachment hearings are going on and on and on. They're going to keep going on until everybody's sick of it. I think this is a terrible mistake. If you have something very specific, go for it. Go for everything you've got. You deserve to go. But when something's a little bit nebulous, not a little bit, it's quite nebulous, and there are really two sides to a story, I just think there are, when I'm looking at the Democrats, I'm saying, Democrats, come on. Now you've just added uh, our, our former governor. Um, and here we have different opinions of our governors and our senators. It depends uh, which side you're on. So um, some people love Patrick Duvall, and some people really think that it was a mess. There were terrible scandals during his uh, time in office. And now he's running for uh, president. He's going to announce it tomorrow. So instead of whittling away and coming down to two, not, not three, not four, five, but just two candidates with less than a year to go, this is not the time to be... I mean, it's like the stock market. Focus, focus, focus. This is what you want to be looking at. You can't be thinking of everything else. And it's, it's, it's a bit, I think it's a big mistake. Um, looking at the um, bad news cloud cover, we don't really have anything just yet. Not only that, the high that was made right here at uh, 27,774 was normally taken out yesterday at 27,806. Uh, let's see. And today the high is 27,800. Um, Missed it by seven points, just extending that. So n there is nothing here. You can't even say that we're in a sideways uh, consolidation because we've only gone one, two, three, four, four days. So it's just the start of a p potential sideways. And I've dr drawn the line all the way down to the 27,300 level as the base of this rectangle. I should actually make it the low that was made. Uh, let me do that to be very technically proficient at this. Let me show you, that's the first level of support, 27,517. We take that out. But I if you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. 
Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Right, we're back, and now the Dow's down 72. That, that's, I mean, yesterday in what was it, seconds, uh, there was this big drop. Uh, I was actually busy at the time, away from the office, and I glanced at my um, cell phone, and we were up 116, I think it was. And I thought, whoa, that's... Uh, it's a pretty good day so far. Then I just minutes later, I looked at it again and it was up 34. I thought, ah, what happened? And then I look at, <laughs> look at it again a little, a little while later, and it's like up 98. All right. So um, what I am looking at here is I have no idea whether this is going to be, we're going to have bad news, a bad news cloud cover, but it's within the next three sessions if there's going to be any weakness at all, the next sessions needs to see the Dow underneath 27,600, the nine period exponential moving average. And that'll say, yes, this could unfold. We could have chop, 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 and then a sudden drop later next week. And although going to Thanksgiving, sometimes there's a, there's a rally, but we'll see. Meantime, back at the ranch, what we're all looking at here is um, the MACD, I, I'm not showing you this in a moment, but the MACD looks very much like the uh, nine period moving average over the uh, 14. And in fact, in that particular instance, it's the nine period differential over the 26 period. So there's, there is a difference, but so far, this is really good technically. You, you haven't even started the arching over of the um, nine period moving average, and that should start within a day or two. So the semiconductor index, how it acts and reacts tonight, if there's uh, applied materials in NVIDIA, if they give absolutely outstanding uh, um, both results and look forward period, we could see a big gap up tomorrow. We'll have to just deal with that. In the meantime, what we are looking at is um, the stochastic at 93% is good. That on balance volume is saying upside is, is, is seeing a lot of resistance, and it's exactly what you're doing. It represents very accurately the uh, elastic band being somewhat stretched over here. The elastic band could snap as prices zoom into the 28,100 uh, level if there's just spectacular news this, this afternoon going into tomorrow. At this point, we don't have a consistent theme of negative news, but there is the cover that's starting, I believe, 
and we'll see what happens. Okay, enough with that. Now, I have to go to these things. I just wanted to show you that the dollar DXY is pulling back. Where did that go? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. All right, the dollar is going to be right here. Always forget out of the one medium to the other. The dollar is down 17 ticks at 98.20. So this is going to be a peak C today. We'll see, can I make a D? I don't like Ds that are way underneath the previous high. In this case, peak D in the daily. Remember how important those Ds are on the 1st of October? That was also peak D in the weekly and leg D in the monthly. If we don't have a good rally, this month might turn out to be a peak D in the monthly as well. So we've got to watch this very closely. The EUR, USD, Euro is, is rounding a little bit off the low. Uh, the USD, JPY, so that was up 1.101 up 0.01 and the uh, yen usd jpy currency pair down 45 and 108.335 i mentioned yesterday i believe it's going to be in a sell signal to sell mode that's the down arrow right here in the daily weekly is still holding quite nicely monthly was repelled right at the 40 at the black 14 period moving average so that's that's struggling a little bit now let me go to a couple of other things really quickly i said i'd do them this is crude oil crude oil right now holding quite nicely uh, down five cents at 5707 Remember what I said, the 200, I'm going to be talking about these in my webinar coming up next week. You'll, you'll learn about a whole bunch of things. You just put them on your charts. You don't have to use them ever until they appear as important. And right now, that, that orange color, 200 period moving average in the daily, I had said yesterday, well, I've been saying for a week, very important. You've gotten to your PD. You haven't pulled back in crude oil. It's in a trading band between the 14 period moving average, look the black line, and the 200 period moving average, the orange line, 57.28. It can stay there a little while longer. If at any point it breaks into the 58.60 or higher area, that's that means that it's now being propelled this resistance magnet line is becoming a propellant as it moves up. And if it pulls back, it says, that's your resistance, 57s, and it can start to try to uh, hit the 56 area. All right, now for that, TLT real quickly. And then, boy, I've got a lot of questions coming in. <laughs> the TLT is up sharply. It's up $1.64, $138.13. You remember what I said? There's a good chance that if the market starts to find volatility, or that always means in the stock market lingo, that it means it's going down or it's very shaky, it can't hold gains. Um, money will flow from stocks to the so-called safety of bonds. And there are 138.13 in the TLT, 163. That's a big move up. And look, you've gone back into the dreaded H pattern above 136.54, the left side high. This is very important because the, the weekly technicals are very poor. The dailies are trying to improve. But if the TLT starts to trade in the 142 area or higher in the next week, I think we're going to see quite a bit of a drop in the uh, stock market in the short term. All right, now let's go to this uh, questions that I've got. Um, here we go. So let me do this one at a time. Roku, I had it in my newsletter this morning um, in that first paragraph that I always do in my trader's corner. And what did I say? Um, CLVS, that's Clovis and ROKU, did very well Wednesday, but the market could slide, so we're just keeping cash ready. That's the way we are right now. We have short positions in indexes, but we don't have any short positions in stocks. And I want to do uh, today, I got a question. Last night, as I did my work, I saw, well, maybe during the day yesterday, when I just glanced uh, uh, at the uh, ticker on CNBC, I saw Roku go by, and I said, you know, Roku, it made that peak E top, and then earnings came out, and it should have spiraled high in that 151.48 to 151.32 highs, and a peak E gave a Chapman wave, a two-bar reversal. It gaps down, comes all the way down to the 118-something area, 100 and, sorry, 16.26 area. And I looked at it, and I thought, you know, if it starts to fill the gap, I love stocks that gap down and then fill the gap and they move quite sharply away from the gap. That's usually a very good sign. Well, lo and behold, Roku opens at around number 142 today, and I was going to give it as a buy. I was thinking of a call option. And then I said, you know, we've got positions. I want to just handle these positions. Sometimes I have to just step back. I don't want to overburden myself. I just need to be thinking clearly. I love this. It had a Chapway falling axe formation. What is that? Here's your long-term handle. 
Here's the X blade, you know, an X handle actually expands wider, and it's like a cone, uh, expanding cone with lower highs and much lower lows. And if it turns around and breaks the upper resistance level, it can go to the previous left side highs, and that's 151.48. So as I'm sending this out, my newsletter out, I get an email from uh, one of my subscribers, uh, someone who's done uh, webinars and all sorts of things, uh, really understood and trades the Chapman Wave methodology, asking about Roku and what could I give an analysis. I thought, wow, that is a coincidence. Well, it turns out that we're looking at pretty much the same thing that I had said, if it starts to move about two points above that trend line resistance, you know, it has a good chance to go even higher. And if the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence in the daily crosses positive, it wouldn't take much for the weekly to, to cross positive. I'll be back and we talk about this. We'll talk about NVIDIA. We'll talk about uh, Splunk, SPLK for all my um, the questions that came in, NVTA and Tree. I'll be right back. That's what Chapman Technicians are. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30 percent this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So Roku, R-O-K-U, trading at 148.27 of 583. Um, this looks to me, this is nice action. I don't know what the relationship is to Disney or anything else. I'm just looking at the chart and the dreaded H. I drew this in that arch for formation. Uh, when you come back this strongly and you're about to tackle the previous high, this is peak B, gray B because it's way under the peak F high of 176.55, all-time high, peak C in the weekly, peak F in the uh, 
weekly chart, so monthly chart, peak C. Um, and I, I just be real careful here. If you're thinking of shorting or even buying puts or anything, no, it's, I think it's more calls that are acting under the radar. That's where you want to be in this particular environment, in areas where the market uh, just doesn't, isn't even looking. It just, whatever it is, it just does its own thing. All right, so uh, Roku, be careful. Next thing is uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA comes out with earnings today, NVIDIA trading. Look, there's that, it looks just like the SMHs. Now, I'm a little concerned because in leg D in the in the weekly chart with a doji can, look how it's stalled. But I've seen Roku, I mean, say NVIDIA come out with earnings where you can even see where earnings are. Um, of course, I can't remember. What, what is today? It's November, right? Go back three months. So we've got one, two, three. So let's look at, oops, wrong way. Uh, one, two, three. Let's go to August. Where's August? August is... What are we in? We're in October, June, July, August. So was that the last earnings? Was it right there? Ah, wait, let me just check. August, no, that's September. So in August, uh, I don't know what date it was. Anyway, it must be around about this date. So on August the 2nd, it starts down sharply from 175, and then it hits a doji candle, and it has a trend line support, 200 period support level, and this started a really good rally. Um, so I and I remember applied materials. It was a little earlier on in the year. It was way back. It was last year. That, that's where the earnings came out and they started to plunge. Applied materials also not at an all-time high, but a very nice run. It looks. If I didn't know earnings were out today, I'd say, hey, high-level consolidation. This is more likely an F slash B at this particular uh, F, F slash C. I'm going to put that in F slash C and. Uh, I would consider that there's a chance that there's a pop to the 58th. It's at 56 right now. There's a pop to the 58th, maybe even retesting the 62's all-time high uh, of March of 2018, applied materials, trading right now down 32 cents at 58.680. If there's any news that is interpreted negatively, that is going to be very important. Why? So the question here is, I would be drawing the rectangle formation. That says in a shorter time frame, if that low holds, you can have an inside Chapman wave buy mode that can take you to a D. And you got that in the 120-minute chart. Uh, let me just show you here. It went to, so it went to peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, E, and it went to a peak F. And that rule of thumb says in the rectangle formation, you, uh, this is a different, this is not the sideways rectangle that goes on for a long time. This is a, a sharp move to the upside, like a flagpole, then a sharp move to the downside that finds support, and then it starts, it doesn't take out that, or it's a gap, but it doesn't take out the low that's of importance, and it keeps moving up with higher highs and higher lows. That should take you to a D. Now, what happens is, within this context, it, the, the, the rule of thumb is it can go towards right on or just over the previous high and then be uh, then expect some kind of a pullback not to the bottom but to at least maybe a halfway point in it or a moving average of importance in this case that would be the black line 5573 um and that's the way i'd be looking at it would i be shorting it right here applied well it's a bit of a gamble in the sense that i don't have any weakness and that means if there's anything even remotely positive there could be a sharp spike to the upside. My thinking here is that the semiconductors in a sideways to slightly lower highs and lower lows uh, move at this particular point. I'll be completely wrong if there's this huge gap up tomorrow, but that's my thinking right now. And that says, well, maybe there's a little bit of an outlook disappointment in the sense that they can't give an outlook at this particular point. So that's what I'm thinking there. Now, in video, the question was, I've got, well, actually, I had a, funny enough, I had within space of minutes, I had a, a whole bunch of questions from different people asking me about NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, uh, one of them was, I've got very nice profit in NVIDIA. What do I do now with earnings coming out? So this is the only way that I could tell you that I would, I would handle it right now if I was long NVIDIA and I had a really decent profit. I maybe have... 10 shares, maybe 100, maybe 1,000. I don't know. You forgot to tell me how many shares. That would make a big difference. Because if you have enough shares, I would say at 207, 
I'm looking at this and saying, just for the moment, I suspect that over five points, 202 as a support level, um, I don't know if I would mess around at all. That's number one. I, I, I'd stay in the position. What I would do is if you are a little bit nervous right now, I would take a little bit off. So, um, you know, this is, this is tough for me because I don't want to, it wasn't my trade, it was your trade and you did beautifully. Just trying to find here if I can see in the question itself. I don't think I'm gonna find it right now because I've had so many emails since then. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, is that right? No, I don't think I can find it, but it's a pity. I'll, I'll try to find it in the break because that is really part of the question here. If you have long-term gains, I would not get out of any position just because you might have to pay capital gain if you get out. This is two separate things. I'm, I'm just going to say this. If you have enough shares to say, you know, I'm a little nervous, I don't want to give back such great profits, then please take something off. Right now, as we're speaking, 207.72, you're not getting rid of your position. You're money managing. You're saying, if it skyrockets to the upside, I have enough to say, wow, that's great. I'm not making as much as I would have an hour ago, but I'm, I'm doing very well. But if you're a little nervous, and at 207.74, we're looking at tomorrow, it's, it opens at 202. Five points is not a big deal in your long-term position, but that could mean that it drops quickly to 198 over a period of two weeks after being so good. So I'm just going to say I would recommend maybe getting out a little bit. Now, the other thing is it's going to have to be really bad news to gap down 5 or 6%. And if it is 5 or 6% and it holds to the end of the day, Friday, and it starts off with a gap down Monday, um, then it's going to be a little late to sell because my thinking here is it's done so well, NVIDIA, trading down 80 cents right now, 207.78, that I would not be surprised if the 194 level of the uh, weekly chart it's just going to be major support if there's a big pullback. This is looking very good. But if the outlook says that we really cannot tell what's going to happen for the next six months, I think you'll have a better chance to get in and you'll be able to redeploy that money that you take out. So, okay, let me sum it up real quickly. Two people, no, two people have positions. One just asked about it, how it's going to affect the SMHs. So we've got a break coming up. I do want to take a moment just to think it through because I want to articulate a thought here that I have because the Magnes turned down the stochastics at 81%. is very close to pulling back if there isn't good news. So I want to deal with that when I get back. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Dow's down 41, coming back a little bit. SMB's down three. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting tfnn.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Okay, so I thought it through, and my contention is this. It's got this oval pattern. The MACD is turning down in NVIDIA. The, the weekly chart is still really strong. The monthly chart hasn't crossed positive in the unbounced volume yet, but the monthly is still only halfway through. So it's a nice leg. Be in the meantime, this is what I'm going to tell you to do. If you've got a position and you say to yourself, you know, I'm really happy with the profits, I don't really want to give back more than a few points because it's been in this trading band and I've held it through the trading band, uh, supported 204. I'm going to suggest take something off right now just to make yourself feel comfortable. And if the next thing you know is trading at 215 tomorrow, um, you say, okay, I, I need to be comfortable. Now I'm really comfortable because the amount of money made for my taking off it's at least putting me slightly ahead. I haven't I haven't gone it that much because I've taken some off, but I have gone at some. And it says now the big cushion, this will be the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation if it breaks out, says you should come back and test within the oval at some point. So you'll have a chance to put that back. So that's what I'm saying. Now, let's just say it just it, it gaps down so much. Applied material, or one of them does one of them does something, the other does something else. Let's just say it's Nvidia that has a, the pullback. You could you could do something tomorrow, um, but you will have given up both the core position plus this little trading position that we'd be taking off, and that makes it a little more difficult. That's why I'm saying if you ask me the question, it says you're a little bit nervous. If you're a little bit nervous, I love the weekly. I love the fact that the monthly is trying to go back. But if at any point in the next month it starts to trade under 194, it's going to be in for a deeper consolidation. That's quite a bit from 207 right now. So I'm saying take a little bit off, sleep well. And the other is, would, it, would I buy it now? I, can't, I couldn't tell you to buy it now. Where would I buy it? Give me a yell when it hits 198 in the next uh, six weeks, if it does that. If it doesn't, uh, we'll have to just deal with that. But okay, so and every in the market, look in the den, and someone said, Judith says, every drop is bought. Yeah, every single pullback. That's why you get your rectangle formations. But until it breaks out decisively, you're stuck in a range. It doesn't mean to say because every every dip is bought, then it's going to go higher. Next question I'm going to do real quickly NVTA. NVTA is NVTA core. It had a very sharp decline from the 28th uh, back in uh, uh, late summer. It drops all the way down to the 14 level. This is the 200-period uh, weekly chart support. Acting okay right now. It's trying to formulate some. It was too deep for a peak C. It should go eventually to a D, a diagnostic genetics, 17.50 uh, up 12 cents right now in VTA. But I... that. 
It just says to me it needs more time. So I am going to ask, the question is, uh, oh, did I lose the question altogether? Don, I had them all written down. Um, yeah, NVTA, uh, I had it all ready. I'm sorry, I can't answer the exact question. I'd rather just do the analysis right now. I've got it here somewhere. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. No, 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 no. It was early this morning, wasn't it? All right, I'll try to find it. But in the meantime, I'd just rather do the analysis regardless of what the question was. So because in diagnostic genetics, uh, you know, all these genetic stocks are all doing diff different things. These, these biotech stocks, we have a biotech right now that's up 4.5 uh, on the day. Um, you just, you never know what they're going to do. They're tough, they're tough cookies, but this one's been very good to us. So I'm just going to say 18.32 is the weekly 14 period exponential moving average. I kind of like it here as a starter position. I know that you've been in this before, and now yeah, I remember you did take money off. Now I don't know, I can't remember what you had said about um, being in right now. But what, what question here? Why do you think NVTA will go to the D monthly basil? Um, most monthly charts eventually get to D. A majority of monthly charts, if they can get to a C. And it's very nicely higher, way off the lows, in this case, under five, and it went to 28. Yeah, I think it will get to a D. Time is the issue. <clears throat> yes, so I'm just going to say, if you aren't in it, you could start a position here at 17.50, because you're looking out longer term. A lot needs to happen. But this is maybe the starter position. And because it's a starter position and we're looking long term, I can't help but say to you, the 16.30 level right now, it's at 17.50. Just for the next couple of days, that's what I'd be looking at as key support. We'll deal with it again. I'll look at it again on Monday. But I'm saying yes, I think. Now, if it can close nicely over peak A in the daily, if it can get to, wow, if it can get to the 15 period moving average of 18.60, that's a point higher. And it can do that without breaking under 16. That'll be your second sign that the weekly chart is starting to improve very slowly. But the stochastic at 10, not good enough for me. I want that stochastic to, in the weekly chart to get to 17%. And then I'll say, OK, maybe now we've got something. This is just the starter position. Next question I had was Tree. This is a lending company, I believe. <clears throat> tree. Lending tree down 460 at 370.87. Sounds like a lot, but it's a $370 stock. So the question is, I'm going to say that just for now, because I'm, sure, I, I, I have the impression that you've been in this for a long time. It made a peak D in the daily. It's in a leg C, probably a peak C in the weekly chart. Monthly chart is holding very nicely above the nine period moving average. I'm going to say that for now, don't do anything. I don't. Maybe the earnings coming out. I didn't get that message. If it is, I, I, I can't deal with that because I don't have it in front of me. I like the chart. It's just struggling a little bit, and it could make an arch formation. 370. If you're a little nervous about this, put a stop on some of your position at 364. That's six points down. 364.50. It's got time. We can still look at it again in the next two days. Um, it's, it's acting pretty nicely. It's just struggling. I don't think it's going to make a leg E above 392 in the next uh, couple of weeks. I think it has to digest the gains that it's made. Uh, next question I had was, I did Roka, did that, did that, did that. Um, uh, SPLK, SPLK. Sorry to be rushing through a lot of stocks today. It's almost like a, oh, SPLK. I looked at this last night, actually, by chance, and then I got asked about it today. I hadn't done any notation on until I got the question, but I, I was looking through stocks that people had mentioned to me over the last week. SPL, SPLK trading 118 down, $6.60. It made a PD doji with a Chapman Wave two bar reversal. I'd be very careful of this. Splunk. Splunk looks like it goes splat. I'd be real. In fact, if you ask me, I've got a position in this. What should I do? I might regret saying this because I'm on the air and it's a lot of responsibility. But everything I'm, lo I'm looking at right now says the sell-off from peak D in the monthly chart still says there's a lot of pressure to the downside. At 118, please take a chunk off. That's all I'm saying. Take a chunk off or just put a stop of 116. Two points at this point isn't going to make too much difference. 
Maybe it'll hold the two, the 116 level. I don't like what I'm seeing. Uh, you can always put the money back right now. I think it's going to test the 116s, two points lower. And if it takes that out, you've got yourself a second arch formation. Be careful. We'll talk about these arch formations next week in my webinar. It's for the Tiger Technicians, uh, for my subscribers to my opening call. It'll be coming up on the 19th, Tuesday at 5 o'clock for subscribers, an hour and a half, looking at the technicals and what we what, what we can use and what, what we want to use going forward for the next six weeks to I'm months. certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So Jason, I see that. I just did it. Uh, I didn't have a chance, actually, to read your uh, email. I just saw the actual uh, NVTA. So I see you've already got a, a starter position a little bit lower down. Congratulations. Now you've got a bit of a cushion. Let's just deal with this one step at a time because it's ignoring right now. It's ignoring the general market. I want to see stocks like Roku. I want to see them ignoring the general market right now. And one of the, uh, at least, uh, two of the stocks that we have are kind of ignoring the uh, the market. I like that. That's what I want to see. However, at this particular point, what I've said still goes. Everything applies uh, to your question. And yes, that, that peak seed was a little too deep to the 200 period moving average. It's take a lot of time. But at some point, I would not be surprised to see uh, NVTA, NVTA, not NVIDIA, but NVIDIA. What a coincidence, huh? Corporation Diagnostic Genetics going to D. Now, today, so just because, you remember what I said about the rectangle formation? So every time it's dropping, bears feel, oh, great, great. And every time it's running, the bulls say, yes. But look at the range. 
You're stuck in the range. You're back right on the 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart. Let's see how this plays out. Now, remember, just do this real quickly because I'm going to be talking about it a lot in my webinar coming up. Look at the 200 period moving average. I'm sorry, look at the 9 and 14 period moving averages. Um, that's the dollar. I want to show you the Dow. Look, we have not even begun the process of, of pulling back. So when we were in short, it was in exactly the same position. I don't know if this is going to work out. You can just do what you do based on your technical um, parameters and your technical tools. So all I'm saying is, yep, there's a chance we could have started the sideways consolidation. In a sense, we've got the bad news. It's not great to have an impeachment hearing. It's just not good. But, you know, uh, Trump thinks it's like he's like a duck in, uh, you know, with the water just everything just run, runs right off. It doesn't matter to him. So that's fine. So bad news cloud cover, it isn't yet bad. If the general market drops two to 300 points, all of a sudden you're going to hear some bad news and that'll accelerate. Nothing will happen until there's this sharp decline in the Dow that gets close to the 27,480 level of the black period, the black Nine, a 14 period exponential moving average. This is a process and you can see how long it took to 13 days back in um, July. It took 14 days back in September before it broke down. This can go on for another week or so, but I am thinking upside is limited. And that's the most important thing. Stay tuned for Steve, stay tuned for uh, Dave and then Tom O'Brien. Have a wonderful day. Larry